even when you have crises such as COVID, uh, the bad guys don't stop doing what they do. New York City shootings have spiked nearly 200 percent compared to the same time last year. But Deputy Commissioner Tucker says it is not unusual with what's going on around us. With murders, um, you know, things happen and people are spending more time together. So it's, it's not illogical that, that you have uh, numbers start to creep up. We manage to, to deal with that. We move our people around. We have to be really nimble. Uh, that has challenged us in, uh, in this COVID environment because mm-hmm. we have had to pivot almost daily. There have been comparisons, though, to stop and frisk with regard to the social distancing arrests that we have seen on video. Can I get your reaction to that? Uh, some of these videos were uh, admittedly disturbing, and, and we will take care of that. We have a disciplinary process. I think we have to take these, 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 these cases case by case and deal with them appropriately as we should. Uh, but in the scheme of things, the, the, the focus that we've had, and you know this, uh, uh, over the years, in the last six years, has been on de-escalation, has been on uh, uh, increasing our contact with communities through neighborhood policing. We go wherever we need to go all over the city. Now, yeah, I understand that the history has been, and certainly the impact of, of, of Stop and Frisk, I understand that completely. And I grew up in Brooklyn. And, and as a young man growing up in Brooklyn, the cops used to hassle me. And, and I can tell you story after story, and, and uh, even some after I came on this job. So I get, um, you know, what people are talking about. But at the same time, we, we need to keep perspective. Tucker says the arrest videos underscore the stress everyone is under, including his officers, when it comes to this virus. To the extent that we have to hold people accountable, we have no problem holding our officers accountable. They know what's expected of them. If they don't toe the line uh, and they're engaged in conduct that is that is just in, in violation of the rules and regs of, 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 of the department, we hold them accountable. How are the officers doing? Because I know you had quite a, a few officers that were dealing personally with COVID-19. Uh, how, how are people doing right now? We all are, are, I think, anxious to be out of out of this business of having yes. to deal with COVID as quickly as we can, as I, I'm sure you and, and your colleagues are as well, so we can get back to what will be a new normal. Uh, but at the same time, uh, never doubt the, the, the NYPD, the, these officers' commitment to doing what they do.